Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today we're going to be doing something I should have done like two months ago. We're going to be installing chains on my uh, Craftsman GT that I have here. Now, this process is the same no matter whether it's a riding mower, a garden tractor, or anything in between. It's also the same for cars, trucks, SUVs. Chains are chains, pretty much. There are some variations, but most of the time, this process will be the same. But anyway, we're going to put chains on. And the reason you want to put chains on a tractor would be obviously for traction. Even with ag tires, this still slips more than my Husqvarna GT, which has ags, weights, and tires. This just has ags and weights right now. So I've decided to get a set of chains, and I found a nice uh, cheap set on eBay. So here they are, and I've been waiting like the better part of a month to do this, but we've had a crazy rainy May here, so it's taken me a while to get out this project. All right, so step one of doing your chains here is to uh, untangle this, which is a disaster in itself. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and lay them out behind the tractor. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pause the camera while I undo this. I've already got one of them untangled, but it takes quite a while because they're kind of intertwining themselves. We'll get them laid out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the tractor here on level ground. Brakes are on. And uh, I'll kind of pan this back a little ways. There you go. Uh, if you're like me, it took you about an hour to get those things untangled. But the good news is once they're on, they're on for good. You won't ever have to do that again. So let me get a little closer here and I'll show you uh, the difference. There's one end, this end here, has just got regular chain ends. The other side has a special hook on it. So let me uh, stop the camera again. We'll get a little closer, I'll show you, and then we'll start the process of actually installing them. So here we are, we've got our chains rolled out right behind our tractor. And you'll notice on this end, We've got some different ends here. This is the adjusting tensioner, and this is just a hook. While on the other end, we just have regular chain ends there, okay? So the next step is to take your tractor and roll it back until this chain is about centered. So now, let's take the brake off and roll this thing back a little. We're gonna pull it back, trying to keep this mostly centered. If you're off a little bit, roll it forward and adjust it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps to be as close as possible. And you can do this one at a time, or you can do them both at the same time. That's entirely up to you. But they both got to get done, right? Yeah, that looks about good. So now we're going to take the chain and drape it over. I'll hook this up on this back side and I'll bring the camera around and show you what I'm doing. I'm going to do this and I hope you can see it, but you're going to drape your chain over the top of the wheel, trying to get out as much slack. Obviously, if you have ag tires, it's going to be a little more difficult to do this because they tend to hang on the ags. That's pretty good, actually. Now, on the back side, you've got five or six pieces of chain. If you want to hook it to one, I'm going to probably hook it to the second to last one out. And that's an adjustment. But you see, I've just made that hook. I'm going to pull my chain up as much as I can. I'm going to do the same thing on the front here. Now, let me move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing with the front. Okay, so we've got our back on. And now we're going to work on our front. We're going to, again, pull the chain up as much as we can, get, us, get some of that slack up. All right. And uh, I'm going to try to go for the tightest chain, because these chains, you know, China's finest, you kind of get what you pay for. They seem to be a little loose, so I'm wondering if maybe they're designed to fit more than one size. Okay, so I've just taken this and gone through the eyelet. I'm going to whip it back around here, and then I'm going to hook it in like so. There we go. So that's it. It's hooked into place. The back side's hooked in. The front side's hooked in. Now, as I move this, I can see I do have some slack. And that's kind of an issue, but it's not a terrible issue. What you can do at this point is uh, on Amazon or uh, um, 
on eBay. There's a bungee cord set that tightens this up from the rear. And I'll show you, here's a picture of it here. I've got that installed on the Husqvarna. It takes all the slop out of this, gives it a good bite, and you're golden. So that wasn't too bad, was it? I'll go ahead and tighten up the other side and we'll finish this up. Okay, so about 20 minutes into this and we've got our chains on. They're sort of tight. I'm gonna go drive it around once or twice, make some final adjustments if I need to pull some slack out. And I do, it's a little bit loose, especially on the, on the inside. And like I said, probably gonna invest myself, I think they're about eight bucks for a set of bungee cords for the inside. That helps keep them taut. And uh, you can actually do it with just regular bungee cords, but they make a nice round set with four hooks on it that kind of grabs it from all sides that works pretty good. And for the money, why not splurge, right? So that's it. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you know how to put chains on your tractor. And you probably should, because uh, who doesn't need more traction in life, right? Take care.